Hello everybody and welcome back to another Bricks Bros video. Today in this video it will be kind of a bit of a different type of video. This is my Q&A. So I posted on Instagram and also posted a YouTube video asking for questions for this video. So I'm going to go ahead and answer what you guys wanted to know. Okay, so the first question comes from BrickGuy04 and he wants to know what kind of tables do I use and will I be returning to Brick Fair Virginia this year? So first question, what kind of tables do I use? These are actually custom built tables. I used to have IKEA tables, but they were all different sizes and different heights. So we took the saw horses from those and then we uh, cut two four by six pieces of plywood and then we put them end to end to uh, make a very long rectangular table of 4x12. So that those are kind of the tables I guess you could say I used, they're custom built. And will I be returning to Brick Fair Virginia this year? Yes, of course I will. It will be, I think, my fifth year going as a uh, exhibitor. I've been going for about, I think, nine years or so, just, you know, going to the convention. But I will definitely be going and I will be bringing I just dropped my phone, but I will be bringing the new and improved LEGO New York City with the much taller skyscrapers. Okay, so next question is from Val Federici. He actually commented a couple of questions. So first off, he wants to know what kind of editing software do I use? I use Microsoft Movie to edit all my videos. And next he wants to know what is my favorite Lego set and that would probably have to be uh, this building right here, the Ghostbusters HQ. I think it just looks really nice. They did a really good job building it. It's also a real building in New York City which kind of, you know, makes it, uh, gives it a special place in my heart for it being my favorite Lego set. He also wants to know what is my favorite part about New York City. I would just have to say the uh, atmosphere of it just being surrounded by these huge buildings and tons of people going everywhere and horns honking and all this other stuff. He also wants to know what is my favorite type of dog, so not a Lego related question but I would have to say uh, a pug. Uh, he also wants to know what is my favorite Lego minifigure and I would have to be the uh, Captain Phasma minifigure. This may be a surprise since I don't really do a lot of Star Wars stuff. But I just think it looks really cool with that kind of shiny um, color. And then he also wants to know uh, how I film my videos, what's my recording setup. So I'm going to go ahead and switch cameras so I can show you. Okay, so this is what I'm using to record this video. This is a Canon 70D. And the reason I like this one is it's very good autofocus, has very good autofocus and uh, touch screen. And two, this. Uh, articulating LCD screen. So this is very good because my tables are kind of low so I would have to bend down if I had a fixed screen camera. But with this I can just angle the LCD screen up and as you can see it is touch screen. So wherever I uh, touch will come into focus. And then on top of that I have a Rode VideoMic Go and right now it's pointing backwards because I'm usually talking from behind the camera so it gets the best audio quality as possible. And then my lens is the Canon 18 135 lens which is STM so you will not hear it focus because of the motor inside. And that is what I use uh, for the camera itself. And then down here I just have your basic tripod and then for lighting. I have this lamp for kind of some soft light and I have a row of kind of studio spotlight things and I have another lamp over there. And I'm hoping to get a couple more rows of these lights. We just installed these so they're very bright. I'll just go ahead and show you the difference so you can see that very large difference from when they're turned off. And that is my recording setup. Okay, so now we are back to the Canon 70D and as you can see it actually looks much better. And he has one final question and, and that is if I will do a, a time lapse or a montage I guess you could say of all my videos so you can see improvement and I was thinking of doing that for a thousand subscriber special. I was probably going to do a channel montage as well as a giveaway. Okay, so the next question comes from Sponky25, otherwise known as Finn J on Mock Pages, who if you don't know I get a lot of my designs from. But he wants to know how far away do I live from New York City? So by car it is about five hours. And then this last time, if you watch my vlog, 
we flew and it was about 45 minutes so not too far away from New York City and what I was talking about last uh, last question with the autofocus on his camera as you can see it's pretty good at pulling focus as you can see I'm focused on a rescue one back in the corner and I just tap on a tree and it comes very quickly into focus Next question comes from James Hong. He says, hey, I am planning on building a Lego New York City on my own. How do you get the street signs? Are they stickers? So for some of them, they are actually printed uh, tiles, like this one I think I got from Eclipse Graphics or something. Um, and you can find them on eBay or like I said, Eclipse Graphics, which they have an online store. If not, say you wanna do like this FDNY decal right here. Let me try and get that in the frame. So say you want to do that FDNY decal like that, what I would suggest is go find an image of whatever you want to put on that decal online and then uh, put it into Microsoft Word or Google Drive and then kind of just size it down to the scale that you're going to need. So like size it to the piece that you need to put it on and then print it out and glue it on or uh, use double sided tape. Any of those will work. So for me, a lot of them are stickers. Um, so. That is how I do it. So Justice Walters has five questions. He wants to know what is your favorite Lego set? Like I said before, the Ghostbusters HQ. He wants to know what is your dream camera setup? I would have to say probably a 6D Mark II with the same lens that I have on my camera right now, an 18 to 135 uh, image stabilized STM lens. Um, and that would be because it's basically almost the same thing as what I have now, except a little better full frame, I believe. He wants to know why do you love New York City so much, like I said before, the atmosphere of it, just the, the tall buildings, the, the busyness of it. He wants to know if you could have one piece of camera equipment, what would it be? Probably a uh, 6D Mark II or the 90, Canon 90D when it comes out, because hopefully it will have 4K. And then he says, when do you hope to reach 1,000 subscribers? I'm hoping to reach that by uh, 2019. Okay, so the final question of this Q&A comes from BrickWizard59 and he would like to know what was my first ever Lego set and that would be this. This is the very old um, passenger plane from Lego City. I think it was made at, in 2008 or 2007. Um, I'm not sure on the precise date, but that was my first ever Lego set that I got and it was just really awesome. And I still remember putting it together, my dad glued it together. I actually have a piece from it um, right here. So right here I have a piece from that. Uh, it was just really a really cool set and this is like the last remaining piece that I have from that. So that pretty much concludes this Q&A. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I may do another one of these soon. So as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.